Hi, this is our show PetNet TV for pet owners, but your pets can watch too. This is me, Dr. Stephen, and I love pets. Actually, I love pets so much I became a vet. Hi, my name's Dr. Stephen, and welcome to PetNet TV. Do you own a pup, or are you thinking of adding a canine to your family? It's easier for us to have a trained dog, because beagles as well can be quite quite naughty. Well, in this episode, we explore the challenges and the fun of training. Puppy school is a very good thing for dogs because um, they need to learn lots of tricks. Training your dog is really all about teaching him good manners. Asking him not to talk with his mouth full, not really on the agenda, but asking him to obey simple commands like sit, stay, and to walk comfortably on leave certainly is. I think dog training is really important to uh, help dogs learn the rules for the society that we live in. Now you wouldn't send a soldier into combat without the right training, so why not send your dog to Dog Academy? When he sits, you say sit and reinforce. Well done! Excellent! Got people in the, around here that have been training for about 30 odd years, me included, so we wouldn't come, keep coming back if we didn't enjoy it. That's it, drop. Good boy. Okay, so it's good when there's two of you to teach him to do um, recalls and, and sits and stands. Dogs need to be trained so they know what to do and because they can get into bad habits of things. And um, puppy school is a very good thing for dogs because um, they need to learn lots of tricks. We're teaching the owners how to work with their dogs and it's a positive experience for them. So, um, you know, if they're coordinated and they pick it up, then it's fairly easy. And at puppy school now he knows how to lie down, which is very good. I've been trying to do that, but I didn't know how to do it, so I've learnt something as well. I didn't expect that a little 12 week old puppy is going to have any road sense or is going to come back to you every time. But start teaching the puppy to come back um, by small steps and making sure that you're helping it to happen and so then the puppies learn. Beautiful. Right about turn. So what we're doing is really teaching the people to work with their dogs. More for us than, than the dogs, making sure that we pay attention and, and remember everything. It's easier for us to have a trained dog because beagles as well can be quite, quite naughty. The period from when they're, you know, about eight to 16 weeks old, they're quite amenable to training. Um, but training can be introduced at any time of any dog's life. A well-trained dog is very tolerant of people around them. And they're tolerant of other animals like cats. Another thing that they do is walk nicely on a lead so they're not dragging you down the street and can go and lie down or sit on their mat out of the way um, and give you a break. So it can prevent things such as uh, jumping up um, unless the dog is actually asked to jump up when it's meeting people. Things that I would do if I was looking for a good place to train uh, is that I would go and visit places that I'm thinking or clubs that I'm thinking of, of going to for training. But, uh, there's a reason for the dog to want to take part. So, um, you know, giving them a toy or a treat when they do the right thing goes a long way towards them thinking that, hey, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty easy because um, all you have to do is just um, do signals and give them um, treats when they do the right thing. As you can see, there are many advantages to training your pet. It's not just about control, it's also about ensuring you both have a safe, rewarding relationship. 